We're here today in the studio of Eve Shepherd. Um, when I was about 17, um, I approached a, a local sculptor in Sheffield. I was interested in doing special effects in film. So he taught me how to do a couple of moulds and then he said to me, I want you to sculpt me a mouse. I have no idea where to start. I have no idea what to do. And um, But I must have done something right because he discovered that I could sculpt. You're predicted to be maybe uh, one of the yeah. most famous artists <laughs> of our time. How do you feel about that? There is a certain responsibility to a certain extent with you know doing what we do and um, you know you can carry a message with it and I think you know in particular this piece has a you know this spiritually kind of uplifting piece but um, you know there are a couple of pieces over there that are much more about um, you know a social statement you know trying to sort of just uh, observations of you know what various communities might be going through at this moment in time and I just sort of feel that as a sculptor I can say that and as a sculptor it's a very powerful medium to um, to communicate in because it's real it's it's not like an image it's a it's a real matter and I think your body experiences it in a very different way to an image I was asked to um, by Cambridge University to sculpt Stephen I mentioned that I'd, I'd only really be interested in sculpting him if I could include his wheelchair so that you know you don't ignore his disability and um, and I spoke with Stephen about it and proposed this idea and he, he agreed that his wheelchair was an important facet of him however this was the first Stephen that I made we developed it then through to this one which is um, which kind of shows Stephen kind of within this vortex either being catapulted out or drawn in. I sort of see my work as taking two different, predominantly different styles. Sort of, I'll, I'll divide my day so that I'll, I'll spend part of the time either working on the work that I call the white work, which is much more uh, technical and academic um, and accurate. Then to sort of, to let myself sort of loose in the afternoon, yeah. I'll let rip into some of the smaller pieces yeah, which are much more immediate and I also when I when I work with these pieces I don't know what I'm going to sculpt so I don't do preliminary drawings for these pieces. Um, what's unusual about um, the way that I work at the moment is that um, most sculptors aim towards making their work in, in starting in bronze resin and then bronze but um, I've kind of done a bit of a, a back step um, most people in the industry would think that anyway by um, turning to ceramic and, and firing the works and actually producing original pieces and selling them as unique. It, for me, it's fantastic to make. It's, it just, it keeps it sparky, it keeps it, um, keeps a spirit, it keeps my spirit alive as a sculptor. Sculpture can communicate something that you can't always describe and, you know, whether it's full of joy or full of sadness, it, it, as long as it touches someone a chord inside them, then I feel like my job's done. So if you'd like to commission a piece by Eve Shepherd, then get in touch with her via telephone or via the email address info at eveshepherd.com.